In this tutorial, I'll show you the procedures of uh, character ringing and uh, how to get your character ready for animation. So basically for this character, uh, we have the body mesh, hair mesh, these are the two main meshes. And, and then we have character's eyeball, right eye, left eye, and uh, this transparency sphere, which uh, is for the reflection on the eyeball. Okay, so this is the structure of our model. And let me go back. First the step will be I select the character's main mesh. See, I haven't selected the hair, just the character's body. And we go to the ringing tab. And we go to the skeleton and quick rig. For the quick rig, um, we can do one click. And let me show you what gonna happen. So basically select the character mesh, go to quick rig and go to one click, auto rig. And it'll take a few seconds to get it ready. All right, so now pretty much it created a skeleton for our character and it also created uh, this uh, uh, eye key control for our character. It's nice. Um, it's not perfect, but uh, you see uh, it works. And uh, However, you may have some small issue. For example, the joints is not at the right position. This one is supposed to be here. And uh, the elbow joint is supposed to be here. So when I bend the arm, see the arm it looks weird. And also if I bend, if I rotate, um, its arm, and you can see the chest is twisted. Okay, so let's go back. To go back, you can after you apply the quick rig, and uh, you will also have a human IK tab pumped up. If you can, if you don't see this one, just click on this button on the right top corner of Maya, and just click on this button to reset position. Reset position. Well, go to quick rig. And with the character ringing uh, settings are still selected, click on Denate. So it will denate everything that we created with the query, the skin, the skeleton, and the control rig. Click on OK. And now it's the clean model, the original model. So this time with quick read, what we'll do is we'll do step by step so we have more control for our character. And with step by step, first we need to add a you know character rig first and then make sure we select our character's mesh the body and we add the geometry and now you can see pop up here so that is the geometry we added here for here the second tab the guys um, we just select the imperfect mesh okay and for resolution 256 is a good starting point but if you want more detail you can do 512 Okay, so let's keep uh, 256 for now. And uh, for the guide setting, basically here is how many joints you're going to create for the spine, for the neck, and shoulder. Okay, so if you want uh, more joints, just increase the number here. So we'll just keep it as a default. Um, and we'll click on create. And you will see that. So this is uh, basically the joints um, it automatically generated. Okay, so now you can see the problem. That's what we did uh, for auto ring earlier. And you can see that it's not perfectly aligned, right? So I'll we'll just select um, the joints on one side, on the left side of the character, and uh, we manually position it. So just change the position a little bit. And once you change it this side, Click on this button to flip the changes from the left side to the right side. So let me show you. So if you select it and click on that, and you see what changes on this side. Okay, so now it's the elbow, the elbow joint. Uh, let's move it back a little bit. And by clicking on this button, you can see that it updated to another side. Shoulder is fine. The neck joint, the head joint is fine. Uh, the spine, I think, is fine. So the thigh is good, and we may just move 
the knee joint forward a little bit. And here for the ankle, uh, move it down um, and move it forward a little bit, down and flipping. And here for the toes, we'll just move it forward and flip. All right. So now we've uh, adjusted the position of our bone. So once we ring them together, it should um, be at the proper position. Okay. So now we'll go to the fourth one. Uh, basically, for skeleton setting, uh, we'll check on. Make sure you check on T stance correction. Okay. So we'll have a a, a T stand position right now, and we'll do mirrored behavior. Okay, and make sure you're selecting the skeleton and the control rig. So this will create the skeleton and also the controls, controllers for it. Uh, with this setting, click on create. Then we'll go to the fifth step, which is the skinning. And uh, for the bending method, we'll use a GVB, which is the default setting. And we'll do create update. So now you should be able to see that when I move any of the controller, I can um, drive my character and test the neck. Okay, and let's see how the joints works. Good. Let me go back and let's see arm. Good, but not perfect. Okay. For example, if I rotate the arm, you can see the chest still have some. Um, distortion. So that is because the weight, which is um, the joints influences on the mesh. Okay. For example, if uh, this uh, when I'm selecting this uh, controller and I rotate, um, so in reality, it only supposed to be able to control the shoulder, right? The mesh on the shoulder. But here, uh, the joints also has influence on the chest, so it causes the chest to have some distortion. So what we'll do is we'll uh, use a tool called Paint Weight to select the joints and redefine its influences on the mesh. Okay. Select our character's body mesh, go to Skin, and uh, we'll go to the Paint Skin Weight. And make sure to open the option box. Okay. So basically here in the window, it shows the joints with different joints selected and you'll see that the skin of your model, uh, it turned to either white color or black color. So what it means is basically uh, white shows the white, if the, the, for the area that shows white color, that means uh, the joint you're selected has 100% control on that particular mesh. If it shows black color, and then that means your joint has no influence on the mesh at all. If it shows gray, it'll have a partial influence on it. Okay, for example, here it may only have about like a 30% uh, influences, and here it may have about like a 50% uh, influence. So if I move this, uh, this knee joint, so right now I'm selecting the knee joint. Okay, if I rotate the knee joint, so this area, it will move, and here it will move a little bit, and here a little bit, and here it will not move. So that's how it works. So basically, uh, it would be easier if we go to the human IK, and for the source, right now we are on the control rig. If we turn on the stance, which is the initial joints, okay, so these are the joints. It could be easier for us to see, all right. Uh, and also it could be easier if we uh, go to our, our liner, and uh, select all other meshes except the body mesh and go to display and uh, hide the other meshes. So we can focus on the body mesh. So let's find the head joint. It's under spine. Um, and then here, here we go. So as we select the head joint, you can see that the whole head is not purely white color, it's just a gray color. So that means when we rotate this head joint, um, it'll only affect, it'll only apply uh, about 50% or 40% of its rotation data to the mesh. 
Okay, that's not correct. So we want this joint to have 100% control on the head mesh. So what we'll do is we'll uh, go to paint operation, make sure we check on add, and for the value we turn on 1, and then we'll paint. As we paint, you'll see that you will paint white color on it. Okay, so let me just paint half of the head and let me show you the differences. So I just paint this area on top and if I go back to K here for the source I check on control rig, see now you're still on the paint way tool. If you hit 2K, so you quit the tool and then you'll be able to select the head controller. So now if I rotate the head, see what happened? This area moves slower, right? See if I move it, this area, this area moves slower and this area moves faster. So basically, here, the top of the head receives 100% uh, influences from the head joint, but here it only re re uh, received about like 40%. So the moving different speed. So definitely we know the top of the head is cracked now, and we'll just have to fix the bottom. So I'll paint the whole head as white color. Uh, I'll paint about this area. Okay, once we've done, um, we can switch to the smooth and smooth out here. Okay, smooth out uh, the head and the neck. So they'll have a, a, a smoother uh, transition. And then once we've done painting the influence on the head, okay, you can knock uh, this joint's influences. So uh, later on, if I select other joint, for example, the neck joint, and paint, uh, you know, the influences on the head mesh, and you can see that it's still not saved. So once you've done with the head joint, you can knock it, and then move on to the neck. And for the neck, I'll just paint the, this area as white color. So I'll go to left shoulder. Okay. Once you finish it on one side, um, instead of go to another side and paint each individual joints. To paint each individual joints, what you can do is you can um, mirror the weight you paint on the left side to the right side. Okay, see, uh, this is what I paint on the left hand and left forearm, right, purely white. And this is what looks initially on the right side, right arm and right hand. Okay, so what I can do is I can, you know, just make sure you select any of uh, these joints, it's fine. And then go to skin and mirror skin weight. But we'll need to go to the setting. Uh, flip the influence from one side, copy it to another side. Okay, um, so here is a mirror across. So we want to mirror across uh, the along Y and Z axis. Okay, so we want to across this face. Okay, Y and Z. Uh, so select Y and Z, and influence association, close this joint, and click on mirror. See, what happened is, the influence we have painted on this side, mirrored to another side immediately. Alright, so same thing for the neck, if you paint one side, and then you flip the weight, and the, uh, the right side will be the same. For the hair, let me show you. Let's go back to stance. Okay, so I get a hair mesh, starting the head joint, and go to skin. And for band skin, we'll go to this option box, and we'll go uh, band two, which is a selected joint. So we only want to ring the hair mesh to this head joint. Okay, and bind method, we can do uh, close this distance, and skinny method is a classic manner. Okay, and then to bend skin. So now, if you rotate your head joint, you can see that the hair also move with the head. 
And for the eyeball and the gland, what we'll do is basically for the gland, we want to attach it to the face. So basically, we'll select the right eye and left eye the gland and select uh, the joint and apply the same thing we just applied band skin and select the joints okay band skin all right so now if we move the uh, head you can see that the gland moves and then comes the teeth so for the teeth okay here we go here's the teeth so for the teeth we also want to let it you know move with the Head joint, so do the same thing here. Band skin. So now only the eyeball and uh, the eye reflection. So I will uh, go to the skeleton and curl the joint. I will go to the view and go to the side view here. So it will be easier if we turn everything off. And just to check on the eye, all right. So now we can go to different view and make sure our uh, joint is exactly in the center. Okay, all right. So now we get one, and uh, we can turn on another eyeball. So. We'll need the same joint to flip another side. Hit Command D to make a duplication, and then go to channel box. If it is not showing, just click on this button. Go to channel box, and if we change the X value, we put a minus sign here. Basically, it will be flipped to another side. Select the eyeball joint, and then select the eyeball and the reflection, and we'll apply a band skin. And since already have the setting. So I'll just apply, and once applied, you can see that I can use the eye controller to drive this eyeball, and same thing for another side. All right, so now let's turn all the other meshes on. I'll select the eye joint, and then hold on Shift, select the head joint, and hit PK to parent another side as well. Now if I move, uh, you know, the head, you can see everything is follow. And we can turn on control rig. You can see that it still works. All right. And we can pose it and uh, uh, use the eye controller to uh, to drive the eyeball separately. All right. So that is how you will be able to uh, ring your character and fix the the weight.